game development is hard and I have been struggling. But I think I've just about managed to figure it out. Hey, that's me! So this is my game I've been working on. It's called The Sauce Lore. It's a fun, silly little RPG. And um, yeah, today I'm going to show off the battle system in this game. So um, I hope you do enjoy. Here's this little little guy down here that I'm going to beat up. Uh, I'm going to try to explain a little bit what's going on, but um, for the most part, I'm just going to keep it to the basics here. So uh, let's get into his little range and he's going to charge at us. So um, going into the battle, uh, this is a turn-based combat system. So um, pretty simple. Click fight, you click your move, and then you select uh, your target. And so um, since there's only one target, I'm just going to click on them. And then what you're going to see while this animation is playing is this little button prompt. And perfect. So um, you got to time a little input with that prompt that shows up on the screen. And basically what that does is um, makes your do move do more or less damage depending on how well you press with the prompt on screen. And there are different prompts that can show up. It's um, important to look at a move's description to know what prompt you're about to see. There's um, that gray circle in the corner. That just means there's a single button prompt. But if we go down here to this move, Spinning Blade, you'll see that gray circle has a little more flair to it. Um, that's because this one is a mash button prompt. And so um, when, the, when it shows up on the screen, it'll tell you to mash, and there'll be a little bar to fill up instead of that circle that showed up. And so I'll show this one now. So Saucy's gonna use Spinning Blade, and I'm gonna mash to charge it up, and perfect. So uh, that made it do the most damage. I got a critical hit in there. It was a little multi-hit move. So um, yeah, that's a quick battle. Um, uh, I hope you did enjoy that little bit. But I am going to show another battle since um, you can have uh, more party members join you in the join in the fight. So I'm going to throw in these guys here, uh, Ethan and Veloxiflit. They're gonna join me and follow me around, and they also have little little taunts you can do in the in the world. So um, that's cool. But uh, yeah, now we're fighting this goblin over here. So um, let's get him. And uh, looks like he has some backup as well. So uh, this is a good little three v three. So um, now it is Veloxiflit's turn. Um, so we're gonna look at uh, we're gonna look at her moves. And uh, we're gonna notice this uh, boosting move, which boosts her. It boosts her crit chance and accuracy for two turns. And uh, you're gonna notice that button prompt has a little X over it. Um, that's because there is no prompt for boosting moves. It's just gonna play the animation real quick and boost those stats. So um, when um, when you click moves, you just gotta look for the prompt and be ready for what's what's coming. So uh, now it's Saucy's turn. I'm going to uh, go for an attack here on. Um, I'm just gonna click this one. I'm gonna go for this troll. Just get him out of the way. He's a he's a mean little guy. See, he has this taunting move that's gonna force us to attack him anyways. So uh, might as well start to get him out of the way. And so uh, now we're here at Ethan. It looks like um, probably just want to take out this troll real quick. So I'm going to use magic whack to whack him. And uh, he's down. Troll is down. So um, now the enemies are going to move. Um, looks like um, Skelet did his, did his little, little attack. And um, now it's Veloxiflit's turn again. So uh, if we look at the info here, we're going to see um, she has 1.2 times accuracy and 2 times crit chance. So uh, we want to take advantage of that. And so we're going to look at her moves. And she has this move called Backstab, which has a little bit lower accuracy. So that accuracy boost will make up for that. And already high crit chance, so 
It'll most likely crit. There's still a chance it won't, but um, it's gonna go for this goblin here with a little backstab. And um, something to notice is this move has a double press and no perfect and no crit, so um, I'm just bad at my own game, I guess. And goblin's gonna use goblin boost, but um, nothing happened. So, uh, what an idiot. Wow. Dumb. Okay. So, uh, now it's Saucy's turn again, and, um, I'm gonna use this, um, this move called Hype Up. And so this is gonna heal 20% HP and boost Saucy's attack for one turn. So, uh, that's gonna be really good. And, um, I'm gonna heal Ethan because he lost a little bit of HP there. And, um... The button, the button press for that one is going to um, make it just heal a little bit more. Uh, it was going to put him at full anyways, so it didn't matter so much. But if you're low, the extra extra heal percent can matter a little bit. But uh, that also boosted Saucy's attack, so once it's his turn again, he'll just do a ton of damage. Ethan here also has this move, which boosts the team attack and defense for two turns. And so that's going to... Um, apply to everyone, which is good because then um, Velox, Flit, and Saucy can take advantage of this this boost, this attack boost. And uh, when they all get attacked, they'll take advantage of that defense boost. So, um, her next move is going to kill someone. I'm probably going to show the absurd damage that she can do as the main attacking character you'll have in your party. That's kind of her role. So uh, this Barrage Knives moves hits up to 20 times, so 20 times 5 gets you essentially 100 damage. But uh, low accuracy, so some of those can miss. But we also have that little accuracy boost. So uh, we're going to throw this at the scale and see just how much damage this can do. And we're going to get the button press. Okay, almost perfect, but yeah, wow, that's going to eat him alive. So, uh, yeah, pretty good if you set up those boosts. Um, definitely want to keep track of your boosts and always be looking at this info to see <clears throat> just how much um, is boosted. So Saucy has 2.25 because he has access to his own boost and that team boost. So this next move is definitely going to kill the kill the goblin here. Let me go for this sky stab move because I think it looks cool. So I'm gonna use it. So we're gonna get this button press. Double perfect. I'm just that good. And um, yeah, that's uh, that's the fight on some uh, some little weak enemies. And then you get the you win screen. You gain 360 XP. They're gonna level up a bunch because uh, XP gain is not balanced yet um something i still have to work on but uh yeah that's the that's the battle system in the most uh basic sense i can get it um if you do want more on more battle mechanics and uh, maybe some like in-depth tech on the battle system i'd be happy to make more videos um thank you for watching if you share this video around, I would really appreciate that. Please go to the Steam page and wishlist this game. Wishlists are super important. Um, the music you heard in the background is being made by the wonderful man known as Trippy Cat. Links to his channel and the music will be in the description. Uh, follow me and um, the Sauce Lore page on the app formerly known as Twitter. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching and have a nice day.